Hi YouTube, today I'm gonna show you how to manually load the wood chip storage for our wood chip boiler. Now it is going, the wood chip boiler, so this is the perfect moment I want to show you that it's activated. As you see, as you see it's heating, Caldaia Cesa means heating, and as you see the wall screws are loading up the material I'm gonna do something that I don't have to do typically because you should interfere with the safety aspects of the machine but in that way I can open and I want to show you that uh, the wood chip is loading okay when the wood chip boiler is going is the perfect moment to load large quantities of material okay I'm going to load these quantities that is it is about 150 200 kilograms into the storage room let's say and I'm going into and as I was talking about to you it is the perfect moment if you load the wood chip large quantities of wood chip into the room while the wall system is off you're gonna have the these springs the springs that you see under the wood chip these one are going to remain in this position and then you're gonna have a tower of material on it with a lot of weight and the first time they, they are going to, to be activated, they're going to round around, uh, well, they have to move a lot of uh, weight, obviously, okay? And so you do have that motors and uh, speed reducers are actually loaded a lot with large forces, okay? If you do this procedure uh, while the wood chip is, going to, is, is loading, okay? You have that these springs, as in this case, as you see, they are moving and so you, they are progressively loaded with weight and so you do not have that much big forces onto the main screw and onto the speed reducer that is under this plate, okay? And so they are um, kept loaded uh, progressively and this is the most important thing, okay? I am going to load this wood chip manually, uh, well actually because we still do not have um, conveyor belt or another screw. Um, this is not uh, that much automated system, I know that, but uh, we have to do with that right now. We have to handle with that right now. And so, let's go. Vado di qua. Sì. Andiamo. Giù. As you see, I want to load um, equally to push all the wood chip all around and in front of the, the two springs so that they are going to be loaded, as I was talking about, progressively. So that they are going to be pushed into the center of the, the wood chip storage. So for the loading, exactly, for the loading forces. Also, note, please notice the difference in the wood chip types this comes from sawdust, let's say, and this comes from uh, branches and pine branches, I think. I, I have to check, but I think it is pine branches. As you see, in fact, there are a, lo a lot of hand tips, typical of the, of the pine. And, and you see the coloration and also uh, the, the bark. This is typical of pine and conifers. Be always aware of rocks that you definitely don't want to put into the screws because they're going to break everything. Let's 
That's it. Okay. We want to equalize the weight onto the mechanical systems so that it works better. And then a big hole is going to be produced inside, so that's okay. In this case, I actually decided to load the wood chip storage room because the, the boiler is going, okay? But you may be in situations where you do not have the boiler going by itself, so you can go in the manual section of the panel and manual functioning. You see this that in Italian is Sistema Estrazione del Locale Stoccaggio means extraction system from the uh, storage room, let's say. You may say uh, spento that is off, access that is on, and so you manually go there. Now I can do that because it is already working. And you typically go there, and all these, uh, I think this one, I don't know if also this one, but for sure this one is actually going, so that you um, that you can do what uh, that you can do what I was talking to you about. So you load the material while all the mechanisms are actually running, so that you don't have large forces on the mechanisms. Okay. I also want to show you the raw wood, the raw materials, the branches. These are the pine branches I was talking to you at the beginning of the video uh, while I was loading the material. And the wood chip comes from this. And so, as you see, we are recovering something that you can typically do not use in any other way. And uh, uh, the cost, especially with the European energy situation in these days, uh, the cost is about mm, almost zero for us because it comes from mm, branches and something like that. So you simply have to consider the, the cost to transform it into wood chip, but that's it. It doesn't cost that much. <laughs>